You are about to head out the door. Yeah, or maybe come home from work. Exactly. Uh, it's gonna, not the way you want to finish up no. a Friday afternoon and head yeah. into the weekend, but uh, we did cash in on a little bit of rain today. Some people got it, others did not. And where most of the people live in our viewing area, Corpus Christi, uh, we did not get much at all here. Lexcam is showing some dark clouds. Uh, and some sunshine, kind of a split picture here. Uh, there is a little bit of light rain that is still ongoing, but with the clouds shading the area and a little bit of rain cooled air, it's only 83 degrees outside. A west to northwest wind at five miles per hour. And on the temperature map, you can easily see where the rain is currently falling. Mid 70s in places like Beeville, Mathis, and Robstown. Sunnier down in Hebronville and Falfurius. Uh, this all got going this morning, and as temperatures warm, do you see how much green shows up on the radar imagery? There was some very heavy rain on Highway 77 between Kingsville and Robstown. There was actually a flood advisory that was issued earlier this afternoon for around three inches of rain in that corridor. All we've got now is some light rain out west of us, and that will fizzle out over the next few hours as we approach sunset. So if you think back to last week, we were talking about the tropical moisture that was going to sneak in here and give us this rain chance yesterday and today we did cash in on some of that but this big plume of moisture the green here that's going to go away for the weekend you'll see the green turn to orange and red and the drier air is going to start to move back into the region which is going to lower the rain chance and that dry air is from Saharan dust that's going to be moving in. So the dust arrives late tonight into tomorrow and may trip some allergy like symptoms for some of you. It's going to make the skies hazy. The sunsets and sunrises will be more vibrant and that Saharan dust tends to suppress tropical activity. So Saturday, Sunday will be the haziest and then Monday, Tuesday, uh, we're going to work to disperse the dust back out of the atmosphere. So do expect the haze for the weekend. You'll see the lingering showers on Futurecast disperse by the time the sun sets. It'll be quieter overnight, mid 70s tomorrow morning, Saturday, hazier skies, mid to upper 90s, Sunday, a little bit hotter, some triple digits inland in the afternoon and highs in the mid 90s as you get into Corpus Christi. Tonight, mid 70s, the rain is going to be finished by sunset in the viewing area, partly cloudy skies and a southeast breeze 6 to 12 miles per hour tomorrow mid 90s heat index of 106 and that Saharan dust will make the skies hazier so it'll look milkier uh, in the atmosphere tomorrow. Southeast wind 10 to 20 miles per hour. Upper 80s at the coast in the afternoon for Saturday. Triple digits for some of you inland. The heat index value is going to be a little bit higher, but I don't think we're quite at heat advisory criteria for Saturdays. Nonetheless, uh, around 105 for some locations, you've got to be taking in the water. If you're spending a lot of time outside, if you're going out on the water, light chop on area bays, southeast wind 5 to 15 knots. It'll be a lot quieter in the morning. That'll be the time to get out with the winds being a little bit calmer. Look at the heat index values heading into next week. They're going to climb back up to around 110 with those highs in the middle to upper 90s. The dust should be out of here by Tuesday next week, looking hot and humid and rain free with those high temperatures a little bit above average. Leslie. All right, Alan, thanks. Well,